Hi, today we are going to talk about intermediates in an organic reaction. An intermediate is a short-lived, high-energy, and highly reactive molecule. When generated in a chemical reaction, it will quickly convert into a more stable product. In organic reactions, there are three types of intermediates, and they are free radicals, carbocation, and carbanion. Free radicals are electrically neutral atoms or groups of atoms possessing an unpaired electron, and they are highly reactive because of the unstable electron configuration. Free radicals are formed by homolytic bond breaking which requires heat or UV light. And in this example, one of the bonding electron pair is transferred to one chlorine atom and the other is transferred to the other chlorine atom. Because there is only one electron transferred to each atom, fish hook arrows are used. A carbocation is a carbon ion which is formed by heterolytic bond breaking and carries a positive charge. A heterolytic bond breaking is a relatively slow process. A good leaving group like bromine here and a more stable carbocation will increase the rate of reaction. This picture shows a tertiary, secondary, primary, and methyl carbocations. A tertiary carbocation is where the carbon with positive charge is bonded to three other carbons or alkyl groups. Alkyl groups are carbon chains and they have low electronegativity. So instead of withdrawing electrons, they tend to donate electrons. And that's why alkyl groups are said to be electron donating groups. When electrons are donated, or pushed to the direction of the positively charged carbon, this reduces the positive charge on the carbon. And as a result, this carbon is now less prone to nucleophilic attack or it becomes more stable. So electron donating group stabilizes carbocations. A carbanion is a carbon ion which is formed by heterolytic bond breaking and carries a negative charge. In this example, the bonding pair of electron is transferred to the carbon, making carbon negatively charged. When there is an alkyl group attached to a negatively charged carbon ion, the alkyl group will push electrons to the negatively charged carbon and due to this, the intensity of the negative charge at the carbon ion increases, and this will further destabilize the carbon ion. Thus, if the group attached to this carbon ion is electron donating group, it will destabilize the carbon ion. But if the group attached is an electron withdrawing group, it will stabilize the carbon ion. That's it for this video. Leave a comment if you have any question. Thank you for watching.